Gordon Ryan and Nikki Rod both posted their conversation back and forth to Instagram where Gordon Ryan is challenging Nikki Rod to be randomly drug tested up until ADCC 2024, something Gordon Ryan says he will pay for. Nikki Rod says he will do it if there's a financial incentive for him to do it, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Gordon says that response from Nikki Rod means Nikki Rod is on steroids. It won't be the last time for sure, but we're talking about steroids in jiu-jitsu and two of the biggest names in the sport, so that means I have a lot of opinions. I'm sure you do as well, so let me know what you think in the comments. Gordon Ryan and Nikki Rod have actually faced each other twice recently. The first time at ADCC, Gordon won pretty easily, and then in the rematch on UFC Fight Pass, Nikki Rod actually broke Gordon's foot, but Gordon still eked out a win. Do you think Nikki Rod is the one to beat Gordon Ryan? That might be why Gordon is bringing this challenge up, but more on that in a second. A few months ago was the UFC Fight Pass Invitational, an event that Nikki Rod won, and Nikki Rod called out Gordon Ryan for a USADA-tested match. Around the time of the UFC Fight Pass Invitational, Nikki Rod did a random test with Derek from More Plates, More Dates, and if I could sum up Derek's 45-minute video, which is really good and you should watch it, but if I could sum it up in one sentence, it basically seems like Nikki Rod is clean and has been clean and there's not a lot of evidence that Nikki Rod ever took steroids. So the question becomes, why is Gordon Ryan pushing for this random testing and why is he willing to pay for it? If you go diving into the comment section on Gordon Ryan's post, which is never a safe place to be, you see this comment, which is basically Gordon talking about how he wants to take away Nikki Rod's excuse. If Gordon catches Nikki juicing it, number one, it takes away Nikki's whole Natty King thing that he's pushing and kind of ruins that brand for him. But number two, if Gordon Gordon beats Nikki Rod and it's known that both of them are on steroids, it takes away Nikki Rod's excuse where he can say, yeah, but Gordon's on the juice and I'm clean, so that's why he won. And I mean, Gordon knows that there's no chance Nikki Rod is gonna take this challenge. He knows that Nikki Rod is not gonna say, yeah, you can test me whenever you want for a year from the hours of 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. and completely disrupt my whole life for no financial incentive. Gordon knows he can issue this challenge Nikki will say no, and then Gordon can then say, see, he's juicing. He won't even do random testing. And part of me wonders, does Gordon think that Nikki Rod is clean and wants to keep it that way? Say you're Gordon Ryan. You just beat Nikki Rod very easily at ADCC, and then a short time later, that gap closes a little bit, and he breaks your foot, and he almost beats you. And at the same time that he breaks your foot, he does a test that shows that he is clean. If you're worried that Nikki Rod is closing that gap and catching up to you and might be able to beat you and he's clean right now, if you challenge him to random testing and he agrees, that would mean he would have to stay clean in order to pass those tests. Maybe that gap closes a little slower or not at all. That would allow you, Gordon, who's pretty openly not clean, to fight someone who is clean if you think that person is your biggest challenge. From Nikki Rod's perspective, he feels like he's already proved he's clean. He did the test with Derek for more plates, more dates. Why should he do further testing for no financial incentive? And to that point, I'm sympathetic. There's also the point of, I'm not going to let Gordon Ryan dictate my life just because he wants to. Part of me wants him to do it though. Part of me wants him to say, I've already proved myself clean on more plates, more dates. This guy is still going on about me taking stuff. I know that I'm clean, let him pay for it, I'll pass all the tests and maybe that will shut him up. But that's easy for me, Justin, to say because I have to wake up at six in the morning every day because I have two kids and I'm pretty sure Nikki Rod is living a different lifestyle than me and it would be more of an interruption to him, so I get it. Nikki Rod got a bad offer, it's lose-lose. You either admit to jacking up your whole life for a year just to satisfy your main rival or if you say no, you've given your main rival more ammunition to use against you and say that you're taking steroids. But I think that Nikki Rod is right to say no. I think it would be better if there were no steroids in jiu-jitsu. I'd rather see two guys who are clean throwing down to see who is the best, and I don't want any part of the decision of who wins to be based on who's got the best pharmacist. And I also don't want to see more of this trend where if you're a pro grappler and you want to make it and you want to be the best, you pretty much have to do steroids or you've got no shot to make it. If I took every steroid in the world, I still would not win ADCC, but if I was someone who was up and coming and people thought that I had a shot at making a run, I'd hate to be in the position where I have to choose. 
Do I hop on the sauce or do I just start losing and my career's done? And if we got rid of steroids, if everyone was tested, you would take away the ability of people to make an excuse and say, yeah, I lost, but that guy's probably on steroids. That's the only reason. He's not better than me. He's just on the juice. I'm not saying every local tournament. I'm not saying every local sub only event. I'm saying that IBJJF Worlds, IBJJF Pans, and then ADCC, I would prefer if they were all drug tested. Those organizations have the financial ability to make that happen. And I know that it never will. I know that the excuse will always be the infrastructure and the cost of all that drug testing. It's just not feasible, but it is. That to me would be the most fun jujitsu to watch, clean jujitsu. Do you agree? Do you think it should be the wild west and go the other way and everyone could just take whatever they want? We're not drug testing everything and load it up to the gills. Let me know in the comments. Thank you as always for watching. I will see you in the next video.